For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabre 94 I'm not gonna lie, I'm really distracted with other stuff going on right now. With the plumbing in my house and other problems. But um, I guess I'll, I'll do my best to try and narrate some TCG matches and just keep things focused. But anyway, this is going to be a TCG match with the Annihilate deck. Um, just, just bouncing off between different decks. Maybe I'll show something new, but I don't really know. Just basically waiting for Temporal Forces. Waiting and dreading, that's it. Um, it's going to be broken, it's going to be 2-0. There's a lot of cool cards from it, but there's just too, many, too much broken stuff as well. I've already mentioned this a couple of times. I don't want to bore you guys repeating it, but... Yeah, waiting for that, that's why I'm just reusing decks that I've already used. Something like Annihilate. Um, maybe I'll try something else again, I don't know. Maybe Aegis Slash or... I, I don't even know, to be honest. Maybe I'll do... Try and do Delphox again, the old Stage 2 from Silver Tempest. We'll see. But this guy just taking forever to set up is always pissing me off. And... Um, I get one card out of the mulligan, and I'm going to need it because we didn't really draw anything. I have a bunch of ball cards and then the trekking shoes, but no supporter. I'm going to need to see something so I can keep going. I opened up with a Mimikyu, so we have a little bit of defense as this guy is going to get ready. But he already opened up with some weird stuff. I mean, it's that cool looking, you know... Uh, Bliss V. It's one of the alternate art forms. But there's also Palkia there. Uh, which it's a weird combination, I suppose. I mean, I guess you're going to use Palkia to put water energies on the Blissey to boost the damage. But that's not really... It's not really a great trade-off. But he also played down a Superior V and the Cramorant. So, god damn. I mean... I don't really get his deck, to be honest. Um, Radiant Pokemon of choice. It looks like it's going to be the Serena. I guess that makes a little bit of sense with Blissey. If it's if, it, if this was going to be a Blissey deck, you get that healing. But his deck is definitely very strange. Now, looks like the other monkey is prized. So I'm forced to get this new. Um... I do have the copycat, so I guess I won't need to... Well, I mean, I mean it's going to give me a few cards, but it won't be the greatest supporter. I'm going to do it, though. Just draw four. And we saw the Shauna, thank God. So I got something for next turn. And uh, now I'll get the Prime Ape. Uh, we're going to slowly get to our guys. I mean, I played the Mew down and the Jirachi. Honestly, I don't really want to use those if I didn't open with them. I just want to evolve into my stage 2s and attack as soon as possible. But let's see what this guy does. So Chorus Experiment. So to some extent, I guess this is this is going to include a Lost World engine. Um, I think, I mean, non, non confi decks use this card too. But I mean, if he has the Cramrand, I guess he must be thinking of having ways to just get cards into the Lost Zone. But anyway, Palkia V-Star comes out. And, I mean, the Cramorant really is the only Pokemon he can use from there to kill the Mimikyu. And he placed on the Arceus V-Star too. God damn, this deck is so weird. Just a bunch of Pokemon. If you're gonna... If, are you gonna use Arceus V-Star to power dudes up? Are you gonna use them for the Vista power? Like, what... What Pokemon is gonna have its V-Star power used? I don't really get it. I mean, if he's running Superior, he must have the Superior V-Star too, right? So anyway, I can't really do much. Um, attaching my energies, evolving into the Primeape. Just basically waiting to see my Stage 2 Pokemon at this point. Uh, sometimes you can draw 20 cards and still not get to the Stage 2s with these decks. That's the annoying part. Uh, Chorus again, and it looks like he is running the Confi Engine too, although he didn't open with them. And, uh, yeah, a few cards are over there. Now the Cramorant can attack. 
I hope he can't switch to Blissey. I, I kind of have to buy some time here still. Uh, it puts the jet energy on. Okay, that's going to do it. Sucks. So I guess the Cramorant is going to get the KO. That's unfortunate. Damn it. I got to see the Annihilate because Primate can't kill this thing with 70. And then he just kills me easily with a horrendously bad 90 HP. Stage 1s that can still evolve into Stage 2s should be on that like 150, 160 HP range. I don't care what anybody says. So I'm risking it here. Uh, and I did see the Stage 2, thank God. I put the second energy too because we were going to have to. I can't even get a kill with the first attack. So we're going to go for the Dynamite Punch. Uh, get the KO, do a lot of self damage, not gonna matter too much because everything uh, stage 2 like this dies no matter what anyway, but I mean you know what, it really is frustrating because just look at this scenario I would actually be able to survive if I didn't do all this crazy self damage or if I just had more HP when that superior just does 120 for 3 a reasonable and fair amount, well not really but when RHP is so bad, I mean, it's going to do the job. It goes for another chorus. And I sort of lose the stage 2 just like that. You know, these regular Annihilates are meant to be the late game attackers too. Because of the revenge attack. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I had to get the KO. I mean, instead of just stalling. I could have maybe promoted the Jirachi or something or the Mew, but... Went for the attack. Uh, the Superior V-Star does come out. This is a pretty cool looking card. And it really gives you those uh, level X vibes. Uh, I mean, some people used it. it. It didn't really do that much at the end of the day. Um, at this point, that kind of HP isn't too great. The damage isn't too great either. And it conserves energies. He decided not to in this case, weirdly enough. So I'm going to promote the monkey there and uh, damn it I am I going for Eono Corina everything will be bad I'm going for Eono here just gonna draw five limited shit too I guess and I did not see a damn candy in a stage two color me surprised so now I guess what we're gonna have to do is burn the energy and promote the Cleffa, I guess, the draw. Ah, damn it. Just gonna draw three. I didn't really see much, but... I guess because I got the Irida and the Ultra Ball, I can get the stage two up next turn. But I'm gonna need to see a damn energy too. God damn it. Burned three energies already. Two for a shitty attack. One on the retreat. Just seven energies left in the deck now. I don't really run much. So, I think I get a little bit of an idea of what he's trying to do with this deck. Maybe it's use the superior V-Star. Make attacks and then you move the energies into something like Blissey. And then Blissey can come mid to late game. Gonna have a bunch of energies and then do stuff. High HP, maybe they're not gonna kill it. I mean, I'm just guessing. I'm just trying to just put the puzzle together. Um, it isn't exactly it still doesn't exactly make a lot of sense looks like a very inconsistent deck but I mean we're, we're playing against it so what do I get now am I gonna get the regular Annihilate I think I'm probably gonna go for this go in this route use the regular one and then Maybe when we get down to one prize, I try to use the Anali BX. I guess it depends. Uh, we're going to have to hope to see um, the uh, Miriam too, so I can recover some dudes. But the thing is, is that um, I don't want to just uh, I, I do some damage and then the EX gets hit and my, with my self damage, I might die. So. Just use this dude for now. Do 210 is still pretty good. And then maybe I can just use the EX, do a little bit of damage to finish this thing off. 
Okay, so th this guy has, th it definitely has a, a big lead over me. Uh, not much going on with the energies, although he is going to get the Palkia V-Star out, the other one. He hasn't used the V-Star power yet, and he won't be able to since I got the Path to the Peak. Hope that stays. Uh, I thought he was going to switch or something, but no, he's just going to go for an attack. Uh, gets the kill, and um, he still decided not to move the energy, weirdly enough. You're thinking you're not going to get KO'd? I don't get it. I'm pretty sure that's what the superior does. The attack is you can conserve an energy, like move an energy you got from superior to your bench. Which is a good effect. But he's not using it. Okay, so Eo no. And um, um, everybody's in the discard pile at this point. Just gonna have to wait to use Miriam next turn. Uh, nest ball, it was pointless for me to use it. I, I forgot I didn't have the fourth one in. Misplays as always. Anyway, uh, Earth and Vessel, discard the Ultra Ball, get a few fighting energies, just thin the deck. I'm already pretty thinned out. Uh, this this Annihilate is gonna have to carry us for a bit. Until I can get other Pokemon ready. So all I gotta do is just do 3 damage counters, 60 damage, precise KO. And this makes the Annihilate still healthy enough for 290 HP. So now I get two prizes. He still has the lead over me, but he doesn't have anything going on. Uh, that Blissey isn't gonna be good at all due to the weakness and. It just, it doesn't do a lot of damage when you don't have a bunch of the double colorless energies and shit. We got an expanded to boost the damage. Okay, so he puts an energy on Palkia. Using the ball, obviously there's not going to be anything. Those two prizes left there. Got one card in hand, nothing else going on. Just completely bricked out. Just passes the turn. So this gives me a good opportunity to... Get some more Pokemon down, hopefully with Miriam. I'm going to recover everybody. Makes sense. And I'm actually going to put the Fighting Energy on Annihilate BX. Just go for the 150 for 2 attack. It's going to be a 2 hit KO on this Palkia. It works out. I mean, doing 240 is useless. Uh, it would be a 2 hit KO anyway. So I might as well just do 150 and keep my guy healthy. I don't think he'd be able to do anything. And, you know, if Annihilate gets hurt, maybe I can retreat him if it, things get dangerous. I got the uh, regular one. I can evolve in the next turn. I think I should be good, though. I mean, yeah, th this guy's deck, whatever the hell it was, I mean, it was never going to be consistent anyway when you're running all this shit. Uh, DC, he retreated the dude, so we're not pulling off an attack. He can't do anything. Wasted the energy, the water when you put on that Palkia. Now you're not going to use him. Weird stuff. Anyway, so I will attach the energy here. And actually, you know what? It's going to suck losing a bunch of energies, but I think I'm going to go for it. Retreat. If I just use the regular Annihilate... I get a one hit KO if he's at two prizes. I do 280. That is perfect. And um, I can use the other one later on. Pick on the hurt dudes. Maybe kill the Blissey or Arceus, perhaps. But now we're down to one prize. I get the final monkey from the prizes. Get the pickaxe. I mean, he's pretty much game. This guy's deck was so weird. Um, whatever the hell he was trying to do. Didn't really get to utilize um, Serena. I mean, for a deck so reliant on abilities on Rulebox Pokemon, like a bunch of V-Stars and then the Radiant Serena, he didn't even have any outs for Path to the Peak. My stadium pretty much just stayed there the whole time. So he's finally going to attack with Blissey, but he won't even be able to get the kill, I think. Uh, yeah, just 70 damage. 
at just too little, too late. He's going to get a bunch of energies now. I suppose realizing he's going to lose, he's just like, fuck it, I'm going to make one attack. And then the Annihilates can kill me anyway. Okay. That's game, I guess. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't really have much else to add. I'll post a, a few more with Annihilate. Uh, I don't know how many, but I'll keep posting. And um, that'll be it, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What I...